Today, I'm going to be showing you a super simple way to live stream on Instagram. Let's jump in. So what we're doing today is we're going to be using software called OBS to be able to create a live stream, mixing many components and being able to stream that on Instagram through your desktop. Now, of course, with your phone app, you can be able to go live and just talk directly to your audience that way if you meet the cer certain threshold, but you are really limited to what is built within the app. What this is doing is allows us to do some screen share or gameplay videos or something like that that incorporates other elements and live streaming that to Instagram. So to do this, what we're going to start with is installing OBS. It's a totally free open source program that gives you a lot of tools to be able to broadcast cast live on various devices, in this case, Instagram. So on their website, you just need to go on here and select if you're on Windows or Mac and download through there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open it up here because I already have it installed. So first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to change a couple of settings within this before we really get too far into this. So we're going to go into the settings tab down here and we want to go under the videos tab here. And once we go to videos, you want to change the base canvas resolution to 720 by 1280. And what this is for is the vertical format. So we're just going to delete this. We're going to type in 720 by 1280. And then under output scaled resolution, you just want that to match. So we're going to go here and it's like 720 by 1280. Under common FPS frames per second values, you want to make this 60. And it should already be there. Now we want to just go up one here to audio, set the sample rate to 44.1 kilohertz. Then we want to go to output under streaming, set video bit, bit rate between 2250 and 6000 kilobytes per second. The closer you can get to 6,000 kilobytes per second, the better the quality is going to be. So we're just going to make that 6,000. And then very importantly, once you change those settings, you got to go down here to apply and click apply and then click OK. Now it's going to prompt you to restart OBS to make those all take effect. You just want to say yes, and then it'll take a second and it'll start. And you can see now your canvas here is in the vertical format. OK, next, what we want to do is we want to add some sources here to whatever that you are wanting to stream. So if you're doing a gameplay video or you have a uh, another video or a trailer or something that you're doing a reaction video to, uh, obviously you want your camera or any text you want on the screen, that's all your sources that you wanna add into this to make it look exactly the way you wanna do it. In my case, I'm gonna add a camera just so we can see myself here. So I'm just gonna add a source here and we wanna add a video capture device for your camera. Just name that whatever you want, select there and click OK. Then you just set it to your webcam here and you hit OK. Now you can take and grab the handles and adjust that in just how you want it to appear on the screen. OK, so I just want to have mostly me just like that. You know, you can add another source. Maybe it's the, you know, the screen that you're doing your gameplay on or the video that you're reacting to or anything like that. You can add all those in there as well. Then once you have that set, you need to open up Instagram on your desktop. So I'm just going to open it up here. And then you want to go up here to create and go to live video. So you want to start by adding a title and we'll call this how to go live. You can set your audience, public or practice, or just your friends. I'm just gonna do practice just so it's not going out on mine, but in your case, you would want that to be public. And then you go next. Then from here, you just wanna copy your stream URL and your stream key and add it to OBS. So we're gonna start with the stream URL. We're gonna click copy. We're gonna go to back to OBS, and then we're gonna go to our settings and go to stream and up here, you wanna go custom. Then you just wanna paste the stream URL and server. Then you go back to Instagram and then copy the stream key back to OBS. And then you just add that big long stream key into your stream key there. We go there. And then again, make sure you hit apply and then okay. And then all you need to do is over here on the side, once you're ready to go, you just say start streaming and it's gonna be connecting 
and then we are now streaming. So now it means that we are streaming, which means what we are we have here in OBS is going to Instagram. That does not mean that it's going out from Instagram. So we are sending the signal from OBS. Then all we need to do, go, do is go back to Instagram. And you see there's a little bit of a lag here. And you can see everything's in there. The preview looks good. And then what we do is we hit go live up here. And it'll take a second to cycle. And now we are going live. So you can see there's a little bit of a delay. If I move my hand like this, it'll take a few seconds for it to show up on the screen. And you can see your comments here as people are watching. And then whenever you're done, all you need to do is hit end live on Instagram and it'll end live. And then you can control everything from OBS. I always recommend having two different monitors so you can monitor what's going on on Instagram on one monitor, what's going on on OBS on the other. But in OBS, you'll make the changes of bringing up new videos or switching the scenes. Or if you're having a conversation with somebody on Zoom, you can manipulate all those things there. But then when you're done streaming, you hop back over to Instagram and you'll end the stream there. And then you come back over to OBS and then you can stop streaming from here. And with that, you're able to go live on Instagram all on your computer using OBS. I hope you found this one helpful and I'll see you in the next one.